guys, this is uh, Nick from Nintendo Dads here. I'm just going to give you a quick mini review of this game before my Let's Play. I know all of us don't have the time to uh, to watch Let's Plays, even if we'd like to. Um, we are playing Breath Edge, and that's what the review is going to be. You are stuck in space, and so you're trying to find your way out. You're just a normal guy. There's a whole story. You'll, you'll see it if you want to stick around for it in the Let's Play. This game is all about exploration and obtuse exploration at that. You don't always know what the heck you're doing and why you're doing it. Um, and you're trying to figure out what the next thing might be. And they give you some instructions. I don't want to make it seem like they don't give you any. But uh, there's certainly not a, not a ton. And sometimes you don't know where the item is in this vast outer space that you need to find. And those things can be frustrating for sure. Um... I have been having fun with it. I will say, FYI, if you got kids in the car and you're about to listen to the Let's Play, there is some crude humor in this game that you may not want your kiddos listening to. So you might want to take that into consideration. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a uh, good rest of your day and talk to you later. Hey, this is Nick from Nintendo Dads here, and I am going to do a first look of Breath Edge, once I find it. There we go, okay. Breath Edge is brought to us by Hype Train Digital. We wanna give them a thanks for giving us a code. So, you know, we could get you guys a first look. Uh, it came out or is out uh, yesterday. That's gonna help you if you watch this tomorrow. Um, April 6th, it came out April 6th to give you a more precise date. So it's out there on the eShop, ready to be downloaded. Uh, if you like what you see here. This game is humorous nature and does not seek to offend all characters and events in the game are fictitious, even if they're not. Okay. There may be strong language and scenes of violence in the game. At least we hope so. All right. All right. Well, that's good. Good start. Let's just do this. Okay. Do we want to be standard? Story? Impossible? Permanent death? No hints? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we'll do standard. Okay, well, there you go. The in-game encyclopedia can suggest the location for something. Always good to have fancy opening credits at the beginning of a game. Okay, so they obviously like to make fun of themselves. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Upper team categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. And therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette at the robot's claws for something more useful. Um, no, I mean, if he wants to smoke the thing, let him smoke it. I don't know, whatever he wants to do. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. R2-D3. I get it. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Fit in this piece of... Oh, well, it looks like I don't have a choice. Apparently I have a helmet on, so that didn't work out well for me. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? If I spit, I spit on myself. Okay, well, let's tell him. Twenty seventy three. Somewhere out the universe is the interstellar liner that is unnamed. Your yogurt or some other carnage ads could be here. Okay.
<laughs> I love the net. Piece of truth. Save the chicken. No, save Grandpa. Or whoever it is. Nope. Oh, that's a real bummer. Well, that's a big SOL moment right there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Oxygen station, simply space exploration. I wonder where to find them. What is she sitting on? Is that a harmonica? I mean, wondering. You know, I hate loading screens that don't have like some type of thing that tells me that they're just loading. Cause then I'm just like sitting here wondering, did it just freeze or is it loading or like, What's going on? I mean, I suppose it's not the worst thing to look at. I mean, just to be honest. But, um... Uh, let me know what's going on. I feel like there needs to be elevator music here or something. Mm. I'm kind of getting the feeling that it just froze. All buttons have been put. Oh no! Okay, no, we're good. We're we're good. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Um. Yes, I can read. How do I do that? Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. <laughs> okay, I just plugged the leak to with the, the leak, portion. You'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, it's not easy to control. You're definitely in a, like, a low-gravity situation. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. No, it's just back to the chicken. Where's my chewing gum at? To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Fair enough. I think the chicken would be dead by now, to be fair. But then... Fine. Where's the chewing gum at? Nope. Am I just going to put the chicken... God bless him, man. Just put the chicken back in the... To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Bind, plug, bind to the, find the chewing gum to a slot. Well, where is the chewing? Okay, so it's back here. Oh dear lord. Okay, so now I have the chewing gum again. I'm gonna put the chicken there. Watch this son of a bitch. <laughs> To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Okay, so we're gonna take this. I swear, if, if the chicken goes back there, God! To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. We're working on that. Okay, um, so obviously we're having some issues binding this to a slot. But we've taken the chewing gum. It's in our inventory. 
I press the A button, and then... Okay, so it's bound. Okay, oh, I think we've got it. And I'm pretty sure by now, normally, we would be dead. Stick it somewhere except for your face. Okay, fair enough. Um... You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Okay, so I'm looking for an interphone. Can I, can I do that without dying? Okay, so now I don't have that on. I have a drill blueprint. Turn it. Okay, there's nothing on the back side. With them, Grandpa's garage was full of such but with them, even a hamster could assemble a teeny helicopter for itself if it had still. Sure, we'll take a take a cigarette. Soyuse Breath Edge. Whole galaxy. Sure, let's take. We'll just leave the piece of truth. <laughs> I got better things. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. Alcohol. Didn't even ask if I wanted that, it just gave it to me. Must have known. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of it. One of the last photos of Grandpa who didn't part with the chicken until his death. He really liked himself here. Couldn't help. Okay. Take that, too. Oh, a broken cigarette. Wow. Somebody was really big into the uh, cigarettes. Yeah, we'll take the broken one, too. Um, humorous survival guide recorded by Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from some movie and put it there. What happened? What am I doing? I have no idea, but when I press the Y button, something's happening. Am I just being somewhere or something? What? I mean, it seems like it's possible. Dog beer. Sure, we'll take that too. Uh, a rare edition of physics in several volumes. Sure, might need that. Oh, home f Oh, that's a phone number. Yeah, we'll take that too. I found the interphone. It was only not so small. To adjust the antenna, you'll have to go into outer space. This. Don't forget to feed the chicken. Screw the chicken? Who's gonna feed me? Looks like India. Somehow I've never asked where this photo is. There's like multiple. I love you, the chicken, little man, and there's a kitten. Of course there's a kitten. What? I don't want to rest in that bed. What that cake rubber? Oh. Thick electrical tape. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. I mean. Grandpa's portrait. Uh, a card. This music is stellar, let me tell you. I mean, I really feel like I'm jazzing here. Okay, so I gotta go into outer space, so I guess I, I need the suit. Um, okay, back in my suit now, I believe. Holy crud. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Great. Okay, I'm... How do I move up and down? 
Whoa, what's this? Okay, I just know how I know how to make water now. Nutrition package, that's nice. There's all kinds of cool stuff out here. Nutritious goo. Oh, to go up, you just point in that direction. Okay, I get you, I get you, I get you. Down with this. For the hazy antenna. Oh, shoot. Get in. Okay. Let's breathe a little bit. We did not find the antenna, but uh, we did figure out the breathing thing. Try again. Is this the antenna? The red light. Antenna? Be careful with the vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Handy scrapper required. Here's required. Wow, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel if it's still intact. You suck. <laughs> Take some nutritious goo on my way out here. Got a little time. Grandpa's mug. Wow, Grandpa loved to give young girls a rut. Oh. <laughs> uh, so this is why his colleague gave him this mug in the title of Chief Womanizer. Unfairly, because Grandpa only gave them rides and only on his ride. But he still kept the mug and always laughed at it. Well, I feel like that's something I should take. <clears throat> Might be important. Alright. Grabber. Okay, you never know when you need a grabber. Grandpa's, Grandpa had some stuff going on there. Dabra? Family photo, a running man, the chicken's portrait, Grandpa's palace. Okay, so what can I make out of this? Oh, okay. Okay, so I press X to come over here. I can make a nutrition package. Oh, the processor is like my crafting bench. Gotcha. Okay. Alright. It makes sense. Get it. For this. So, the drill. I found a grabber. I can make some tape. I can make a weird looking helmet. If I have all this stuff, I can make alcohol. Did I just drink that? How, how do I get out of here? Press the plus button, of course. There is, I will say there are some weird... Oh, so I can put stuff in there because I can only carry 120 items. Yeah, there's some weird button combos that don't make a ton of sense. Like, you get out of there... I don't know. Being a Nintendo guy, you press the B button, right? They cancel you out of stuff, right? It makes sense. But um, here you press the plus button to get out of stuff. Uh. Oh, okay. Can I change the... Oh, I totally can. Okay. Wait. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. I need 
need a skin. Alright, all right, I mean, you know, I'm kind of getting this game. Weird, weird prick game to begin with, but I'm, I'm starting to feel it. Okay, so... Need a debugger. I get the feeling that this is going to be a little bit of like a puzzler. Need a debugger, like an environmental puzzler. But... I feel like I gotta go back out into the world. Asks establish communications. So, do I still have my suit? Oh. Yeah, I do. Didn't want to like jump out and die. I wonder what happened if I ran out here without a suit. It would just like stop me. You're gonna tell me I can't do that. I need a scrapper. Dang, I need to find the scrapper as well. Somewhere there's a scrapper. The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frost work, which can lead to visibility deterioration. Grand. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I understand of? that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. Okay. Kind of reminds me of, like... In their version, uh, like a like a version of Outer Wilds, and yes, I know for I have played Outer Wilds, so I know it's not near that qualities, but um, but it has that kind of feel to it. I <sighs> listen, I'm trying to do stuff out here. I don't have time to breathe. Did we just find out what happens when we die? Maybe we will if I can't find the door. No, no! Oh, that one was a little too close. Ooh. Damn it. Alright, it's September. Oh. Typical calendar with girls. Miss September. Grandpa loved and carefully collected such. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache. And my butt got some wide stripes from Grandpa's collection. Okay. Well, I get the feeling we'll have to keep track of what all the different ladies look like as they, uh, we go through the calendar. Ow! Oh, if I only had a... What I would do for a scrapper. Find a blueprint for a scrapper. It's gonna be like a, a game loop thing, that's for sure. Like, leave, come back, leave, come back, stash your stuff, create stuff. I mean, you can definitely see that in it. I swear, the chicken's the best. So is the chicken still there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Gotta go. Gotta go. The good news is that chicken's got a lot of good uses. Which on on board radius? Oh yes, yeah, so I'm walking slower. Rare edition of physics, in several volumes. They say the one who reads all fifty will become the person who read all these books. Sure, sounds good. How we get? I mean. I actually don't mind this music. I don't know what to say about that. Have I been there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've been. Okay, I'm only gonna do this one more time, sorry. Danger, keep away. Oh, that's my radiation meter. Okay. Okay, well that's cool. Now I know where that is. May not have paid attention to that before. Out we go again. 
Da -da -da. Duck. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Got ourselves some water. A nutrition pack. Alright. Yeah, I need a scanner. Well, if I had a scanner, life would be great. And a scrapper. I need a scanner and a scrapper. A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. Nice to know. Take this? No, break. Everything's break. Break, break, break. Everything is break. Alright, let's game loop this game. Why do I have a feeling like there's a scrapper and a scanner in some drawer or something that I'm not opening? That's my insert videotape. Okay. Space. Like your bladder. Wow, these guys love chickens. Find yourself left without the most valuable equipment. This is from, wow, that is nasty. If you try to keep it all in a thoughtless waste of resources. Tip three: Explore the environment in search of aids. What? I can equip stuff. Okay, that's helpful. any valuable items in space. Yeah, I've got that. I do a lot of that. Although I could use to be as fast as he is. This is wrong. I could use to be as fast as he is at doing this. You who's the chicken, man? That is one awesome chicken. With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable. Yep, I'm peeing with the Y button. God bless it. I just peed all over my own table. Pretty sure that's what happened. The Y button makes you pee. Like, let's see what I can find here. Um. Let's see, why? No, why is fly there? Well, what kind of fly are we talking about? Um, I don't see. <laughs> no idea what's going on. Oh, what's on the ground? That's something I can pick up? No, it's just like a... You got it right. It's a book. It has pages inside. Sure, we'll take it. Not oh, turned down. Good. Go oh, outside. Does that give me anything? No, there's nothing on it. Rapper. Or actually. I don't even really know what I need. Oh, okay. Toilet detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Huh. Okay. Taking lots of stuff. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. 
work fellow, for some reason there has always been a lot of these rodents. <laughs> The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. I got a blueprint for yellowish water. I'm sure I'll need it somewhere. I just don't want to know when. Uh-oh. Uh, did I get a little confused? Oh, uh, this might be when we die, fellas, right here. Not really certain where I'm at. Ah! Uh, wait, is that it? Where's home? Uh, oh, I found it, but I don't think I can do it. What happens? We're about to find out when we run out of air. All right. Oh, so when you do that, it helps your health, but your everything else goes down. Like, I'm starting to get hungry here. Okay. Yeah, alright. And that helps my health, and that makes sense. I'm good with that. Um, 